Hi, today we'll show you some processes, you guys. Not just any processes, but those that has to do with manufacturing. Man-machine connection proved itself in the past, and now it just keeps evolving and it gets better and better. So we'll show you guys some neat manufacturing that's almost ahead of itself. Don't go anywhere and stay with us. What you see right now is called hot stamping. This printing method requires a lot of force. First they heat up the samples in the furnace until they're hot enough to work with, and then the hydraulic press does its job. It seems strange now that at some point in history people could do things without machines. These days a piece of metal of almost any proportions can be transformed into almost anything. As you can see, the metal is red hot. And you don't want to grab that with your bare hands, that's for sure. And here's how they make springs these days, easily and seamlessly. This next one is a water jet cutting machine. It creates very intricate and accurate 3D parts out of metal. Seriously, any crazy idea you have in mind can be cut out in a factory with this unit. The angle can be adjusted from 0 to 60 uh, degrees. The water makes cutting process very simple. So that's all very exciting and impressive. Another very cool gadget, and the process of making those things is very pleasant to look at. So it gets heated first and then it twists until it gets the right shape. And some metals don't require heating at all, like modern machines can make some very peculiar forms without you needing to apply any effort whatsoever. This one works at a very fast pace and it moves without stop, it's relentless. Sometimes, however, machines need humans to do occasional job by hand. If you never saw how they make tires, you've missed out because the process is so pleasurable that you want to watch it without stop. So after they make that special rubber compound, they add various elements and give the tire its shape. And again, it's all very interesting and enjoyable. Can you watch tires being made forever? I guess you can. So after all, they do all that um, curring, that whatever that is, it doesn't matter. It, it's just nice to watch. And so finally they check the freshly made product to make sure it doesn't have any flaws. And here's Impact riveting machine. Very interesting device, very powerful, and as always a joy to observe at work. Hot riveting, by the way, is much better than regular or the standard riveting. Take a look how they make rope. Awesome, isn't it? Any kind, any length, any density and all that. It is so incredibly accurate, you can clearly see it yourself. It gets made and it gets packed and then it's ready to be shipped. There are still many factories, however, where people work 
with their hands. In most cases, though, people merely control the production and don't get involved in it much. That's a big drill, isn't it? Wow, balls of steel, made almost entirely by machines. All that man needs to do is to push those balls a little bit, sending them out to similar balls. This is how it separates one link from another. Very fast and very easy. Sometimes robots can do absolutely remarkable job with extra precision and it just looks fabulous. That's a big one. Requires three men to handle the job. They even make fragile glasses. So fast and careful, it's unbelievable. Process is endless. Same as the time you spend watching these videos on YouTube. And when it comes to color glass, it makes it look even cooler. This is how they make big stuff. With a thing like that, you can give form to almost any big thing made out of metal. I don't suppose many of you guys saw how they make swords, but this process is very interesting and it looks like some kind of magic. And it's not all high tech all around. Some places still use old stuff, but if it does its job well, then it's okay. Many of us still use pencils, but we never think about how difficult it is to produce so many. And as you can see, it's a fun and non-stop process. Most pencils are made out of setter. It's the kind of material that creates better pencils. Each block has 10 cells and it takes mere seconds to create 10 pencils. Of course, when we talk about larger quantities, it takes longer time. We can't do without paper, but how do we make paper? Let's check out this process step by step. First, to take the bark off because it can be used to produce paper, but bark is still used as solid fuel. And so then logs are put inside chippers and then the wood is put into a special egg mixture. And that's how we get cellulose. Also, glue can be added as well as starch and some other components. It would seem that only people are capable of performing delicate tasks, like collecting tomatoes. Tomatoes are fragile, but robots of today can do almost anything. And so they can also be very careful. These machines aren't cheap, but they save farmers a lot of money in the end. It's much easier these days to collect bananas. Certainly much easier than it used to be some hundreds of years ago. Here's another example where human presence is needed. Horse breeders are up against a bit of a problem now. Some breeds are on the verge of extinction because of lack of genetic diversity. And this is where science comes into picture. Studs should only impregnate those horses that they're not akin to. This makes horse breeders make use of artificial insemination. The dad should be the best of his kind, very healthy. They change father every four years for the sake of diversity. Imagine how many milkmaids you, you need to milk all those cows. These days machines do all those things for us. This farm is completely automated. 
They're, they milk them, they wash them, they do it carefully, and they say it, it doesn't hurt animals one bit. This one looks a bit simple, but it does its job, and it does it perfectly well. See? It hits it precisely at the right moment. And here's how they do watering now. Not only does this process allows for a fast pace, but it also lets you use the that water twice. Isn't it incredible how fast those robots are? Not a man in the world can do that so quickly. When it comes to agriculture, we can speak of a very fast work pace. There is little surprise in that because there are so many people out in the world and everyone needs to eat. Cabbage, carrots, onions, you name it. All of that gets collected and then transported to shops. The last robot on our list is a genius invention, works on solar power, so on a sunny day it can operate without stop. See it collects weeds and it's able to recognize those and it does it meticulously without damaging the crop. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to stick around and subscribe. Leave your comments and we'll see you later, bye.